I'm going to do something today that I haven't done in a while. I'm going to present another episode of Vintage Toy Freedom Fail. If you remember, uh, that was the first and so far only episode with the G.I. Joe Sergeant Savage, Commando Sergeant Savage with the VHS tape. Um, today I have another one here. This is the Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future Sergeant Scout Baker. This was made by Mattel in 1987. Um, so he is Sergeant Robert Scout Baker. He's from the Soldiers of the Future Intelligence Expert, born in Chicago prior to the Metal Wars. He speaks over seven human languages. Um, he's a cool figure, and I bought him for cheap. You can see the the wear to the card. You know, the card's not in the in the best shape, but the bubble's firmly attached. I mean, he's mint. He's got his gun, his little um, whatever that other thing is. And um, I was going to open him, but my friend Chris Cooper said, and I quote, you don't want to open that. He's wrong. I do want to open it. Um, I just, I'm just not going to. Um, I have him loose. And um, I thought maybe somebody else would enjoy it, actually. I just sold it on eBay just today. I have to mail it out later today once the person pays me. Um, Captain Power is an interesting line. So there was like a, a game thing, like with the TV. Um, that Power on Energizer is actually a really cool uh, play set, I guess you would call it, vehicle, whatever you want to call it. Um, most of these guys are pretty easy to find. Captain Power is easy to find. Lord Dread, the Sentry, you see him a lot. Uh, usually without his stuff and sometimes his tail missing, but I have him loose and Lord Dread and, again, Scout Baker loose. And, I mean, loose, you can find him for pretty cheap. I think I got this for 12 or $15. I was actually at the Cincinnati Toy Show recently, and they had some other ones um, for, like, $10, 10 to $12. She's going to be a little bit harder to find. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's a cool line. I mean, it's in scale with G.I. Joe. You can see it's... Put it there next to my scoop. You know, three and three quarter inch. Doesn't have as much um, articulation. Doesn't have the swivel arm and doesn't have any kind of waist articulation. But, um, you know, they fit in a, I have some G.I. Joe cases. Actually have my Lord Dread figure in there. And, I don't know, cool line. Not very popular, but if you, you know, if you want to find some cool, cheap, loose figures, or again, just add something neat and different to your card collection you can find one uh for you know 10 to 15 dollars so so this was the the second episode of vintage toy freedom fail um i'm just looking around my closet right now i see another one two uh three four at least four figures five six seven yeah i, I got another I, maybe not quite ten but um, a decent amount of figures. Actually, no, some eight. Yeah, maybe. I bet I can find ten figures that I intended to open for Vintage Toy Freedom, but I decided not to. Um, thankfully, kind of a preview. There's some down here. There's some over there. Kind of hard to see uh, that it will be opening. So, um, But I also want to highlight again some of these ones that um, I plan to open. Decided not to for, for various reasons. So, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future Sergeant Scout Baker. For use... Captain Power TV Interactive Accessories.